بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ہیلو ایوری ون ویلکم بیک ٹو دا پی ایل تھری ہنڈریڈ ایگزام پریپریشن سیریز ویئر وی آر ہیونگ اے لک ایٹ دا سیکنڈ لرننگ پیتھ ماڈل دا ڈیٹا ان دس ویڈیو وی آر گوئنگ ٹو کنٹینیو آر ڈسکشن آن دا ٹاپک کریٹ کیلکولیٹڈ ٹیبلس ان دا پریویس ویڈیو وی ہیڈ اے ڈیٹیل لک آن ہاؤ ٹو کریٹ کیلکولیٹڈ کالمس اینڈ کیلکولیٹڈ ٹیبلس اینڈ وی سا آر فرسٹ ٹیبل فنکشن وچ واز دا فلٹر فنکشن so in this video we are going to explore some of the other table functions which are important from a pl 300 exams perspective so i have listed listed down some of the functions here so the functions that we are going to explore include values distinct all summarize columns add columns select columns top and cross join and generate series so we will be having a look at the definition of, of the function on the dax.guide website and then we are going to see how this function is used to create a table inside of power bi desktop environment and what is the functionality of each of these functions the first table function that we are going to have a look is the values function so if we have a look at the definition of the value function it says when a column name is given returns a single column table of unique values when a table name is given returns a table with the same columns and all the rows of the table including duplicates with the additional blank row caused by an invalid relationship if present the syntax of this values function is that you need to either give the name of a table or you need to give the name of a column so here we have seen that if we give the name of a column then it returns the single column with all the unique values so if you give the name of a column here then it is going to come back with the with a with a single column that has the unique values if you are going to give a name of the table then it is going to come back with all the columns and all the rows including the duplicate values and there can be an additional blank row if there is an invalid relationship so values can return an additional blank row if the if the table in question is a dimension table and there is lack of referential integrity between that dimension and the fact table so what this means is that if all the records in the dimension table are not present in the fact table then values can also return an additional blank row so now let's go to the uh, power bi desktop environment and see how this values function is generally used and how, what is the functionality of this uh, values function so here we are inside the power bi desktop environment and we have created a table by the name table values column and inside this particular uh, expression the function values the table function values has been used and the column product brand from the products table has been passed so once you run this function you are going to get a single column product brand and if you come on the bottom you are going to see that this has 111 rows so remember we had 111 rows in our product brands so the values function is returning the unique values from the product brand so that is how the the pro, the, the the values function is going to work and this is what we exactly saw in the definition so now let's create another uh, table where we instead of passing the name of a column let's pass the name of a table so here there is another uh, expression which has been created which is table values and inside i have written table because now we are using the values function with the name of a table so i have passed the name of the products table and you can see in the result that all the records and all the columns so all the rows and all the columns have been returned and you can just go and compare the value of this with the products table so effectively this is this is doing nothing and it is just returning the uh, same result which is inside the products table so this was a look at the values function now we are going to have a look at a function which is very much similar to this function uh which is the distinct function so here i am on the dax.guide website and i am on the distinct function page description so here you can see that it says it returns a one column table that contains the distinct unique values in a column for a column argument or multiple columns with distinct unique combination of values for a table expression argument so this is effectively the same thing 
that we saw for the values function there is a slight difference which i briefly explained once we were talking about the values function and that is the return of a blank value in case of a referential integrity issue in the data model but that happens for the values function and not for the for the distinct function and you can see that the same description has been written here one slight difference in using distinct and values is that if you are using values inside a variable then it is not allowed however you can use the function distinct in the variable so this is a very uh, slight difference and here you can see on this website there they have shown an example that uh, that power bi uh, dax environment does not allow values to be used inside a variable it has to be a table or a column that exists in the model so you always have to pass a physical table or a column so now let's go to the power bi desktop environment and see uh, examples on the use of distinct so here i am inside the power bi desktop environment and i have created a new table by the name table distinct column and here i am using the distinct function and i have passed the same column name product brand and you can see that we are getting a product brand uh, single value column and as a result uh, in the form of a table and here if you come on the bottom you are going to see the same response that we saw for the values function and it has returned 111 rows so so far there is no difference between the values function and the distinct function so here we have created another table and the expression for this is table dax the table distinct table and here i have passed the products table to the distinct and you can see here that the result is exactly the same and even the same number of rows are returned which are exactly what is there already in the products table so distinct and values actually uh, have very subtle difference but you should be familiar that the only difference is once we are talking about the referential integrity thing and in case of values you are going to always get a blank value or a blank record if there is an issue with the referential integrity but it won't happen with the distinct so in this video we covered uh, just these functions and we are going to cover the rest of the functions in the subsequent part parts of this video so i'll catch up with you in the next video